Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, that's me. I'm here today to show you placeholders in Google Sites. So I'll scroll down here and I'll go into my insert menu and go down here to placeholder. And it goes in as a square, but you can resize as, as your heart's content. And then when you have this placeholder, if you click the plus, it will give you the whole menu that it might typically do when you do layouts. But if you set it to this, you use the settings gear to edit the placeholder, you get to choose what type this will be. So let's say I want this to be a Google form later. Okay, and I hit update. Now there's an, a little icon that's the Google Forms icon. And also up here, I've already done a few. I have an image here, a YouTube video, and a Google Doc. Well, my collaborator might not know what these icons mean, but then when they go to insert, it can only give them an image, right? If I go here, I click that, it brings up the YouTube search. Here for Google Docs, it brings up all of my Google Docs. Here for Google Forms, it will bring up my Google Forms. So it's a nice way to communicate with collaborators what belongs where. Now, if I go to the preview for this, it will just show literally blank placeholders. It doesn't matter that I've set it to be a Google Doc or a form or a YouTube video, it doesn't matter. But this is a, just a nice way to work with collaborators and just let them know, hey, here goes a YouTube video, here goes a doc, whatever it might be. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.